Hey guys, so here's my GWS slow stick. I've put it almost completely together. Uh, only thing I need is a motor, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it and show it to you guys. Now I'm going to add ailerons on later. I haven't done that yet. But as you can see, let me zoom in here. Rudder's all set up and working, as well as the elevator. So all the controls are working. Um, now I didn't use pretty much anything that came with this. I just saw online there's actually a brushless edition uh, slow stick available now. I don't have that version. This version was the uh, almost ready to fly brushed version and it came with a I think it's a 370 brushed motor. I don't want to use that. I want to make this a brushless plane. So I'm not going to be using the uh, motor that came with it. I'm actually going to be using a Rimfire 28 by 30 by 950 kV, I think it is, and that's coming in tomorrow. So I'll be putting the motor on. As you can see, my ESC wires are here, ready to be attached to my motor once I get it on. And this is the battery mount. Let's go ahead and show you what I did to the plane here. Now under the plane, as I showed you, here's the ESC motors, and they're coming up to the ESC, which is right here. It's an E-Flight 30 amp ESC and it's being held on with glue and a zip tie. Now I use zip ties all over. The zip ties are actually kind of acting as clamps right now while the, my glue dries and I actually might just leave them on also just to help hold on everything. So my ESC is up here, it's a 30 amp E flight and then I got my Spectrum AR500 receiver on the bottom. Plugged in right now is the throttle, the rudder and the elevator which you saw them working. The throttle won't work yet, of course there's no motor plugged in. And then Here's just a bunch of wires from my servos. So I wrapped the wires around the uh, fuselage here, the stick fuselage here, and then I uh, wrapped some Velcro around it just to hold them in place there. Here's my zip job, zip job, uh, zip tie job on my servos. These are Park Zone SV80 servos. And they're glued on there and zip tied. So they're just holding and drying, and I'm going to leave those zip ties on there also. And then you've got your control arms which go come up into here, the end of the uh, rear wing bracket and that holds the servo arm, control arms going perfect control rods and then I uh, separated my elevator and rudder and just attached them with tape and it's working perfect as you can see there's a gap just a little gap now this plane took probably about an hour to build uh, with doing everything, you know, putting on the wing, attaching the servos, putting on the ESC, getting everything everything built. Probably only took an hour, maybe an hour and a half. On the top of the wing, this is kind of ugly. It's this plastic brace. It's hard plastic and it holds the wing. It's actually taped to the wing now. There's special tape under there that sticks it on one side and double sticks it to the wing. So that's like a wing brace and it also helps with the uh, rubber bands so they don't damage the foam. But it, it doesn't look that good by itself, but that's okay. Um, so it's pretty light plane. It feels pretty nicely balanced. Of course, I don't have a uh, motor on it, so that'll add some nose weight. But I like this drop. It's got really bouncy wheels. Especially the tail wheel. But it um, looks great so far. It looks like it should fly good, so I'm going to get the motor tomorrow, install that. And I'll uh, hopefully get it out in the next couple of days. It's been a little windy, but hopefully I'll get this out in the next couple of days. If it is windy for the next couple of days, I'll probably uh, spend like an hour and add on those ailerons. And then I'll take it flying on a nice day. So whenever the next nice day is, we'll see this flying either as it is with a motor or uh, with ailerons. Now the motor I'm getting to put on this plane <clears throat> is actually the exact same motor that is in my Great Plains Seawind. So it's a pretty powerful motor. The C one's heavier, uh, and it's more of an aerobatic plane, so it's a pretty powerful motor. So this is going to be a pretty powerful uh, slow stick. So it should be fun. But uh, keep a lookout for the uh, flight videos soon.